welcome back to my channel my name is Laura today we're doing project life cards and I have them in my journal here this is my current journal this is a composition notebook that I repurposed and made a flow journal out of and I haven't touched my March um, project life cards yet so I am going to get to that here and here are my project life cards so I'm going to pull them out and I'm going to attempt to do something with these cards because um, I don't want to store them okay have you heard of Franken pages yes I really really enjoyed making a Franken page the other day and I decided that maybe I could do these with the project life cards and I thought that would be amazing. So what you do is you take a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. You're not going to sew it onto here, but you're going to sew it. You're going to lay them out like one at a time and fill up the page. So it, it makes an eight and a half by 11. So we're going to just put them down sporadically I hope I'm in frame and this one says turn the page and I'm looking for I think I should just do the green let's do it this way and I have orange let's see there's another green one and what you do is you abut them up against each other. That is a pretty one. Now you gotta remember that there's stuff on the back. Happy mind, happy life. That's cool, I can put some blue. And I think this one, go like that. Now I have a border here. I think I gotta turn them. Let's try turning it that way. Now I have a strip here. I'm going to take, ooh, this is cool. Just a girl who loves books. that there and I'm gonna cut uh, like the March chapter thing all right I'm gonna take this card and cut it so I have strips so I'm just using a paper trimmer and now I have that I want to be able to use the March so here's the March that fits nice there Now I have no idea what the back's gonna look like, so that's gonna be interesting to see. Um, I need like a strip. Now if I cut up words and stuff, then you could cover it up. I think that would be cool have a piece of white here. I want to move this down. Put March here. And oh, it sounds like my children are home, so sorry if they start screaming. Okay, so I think I like how this looks. Now what I'm gonna have to do is go to my sewing machine and try to stitch this together. So let's, I'll come back and show you what I got. I don't know what the back looks like until we finish. So we'll see. Okay, so because I don't wanna use glue because it junks up your machine, um, I am setting my stitches to 1.8 and 4.5 and I'm going to stitch 
manually these two pieces together uh, and come back and show you what it looks like. And then I will piece together each piece. Uh, again, I'm not using any glue. Uh, the person who I saw this from did use glue and I just don't want to gunk up my machine. So we're going to try to attempt this. So this is the result I get. I just butted up the two pieces of paper and then stitched both sides together. So let's see what the back looks like. So there you go. So now I have this as probably white. I can probably stamp on it, whatever. So um, I'm going to continue adding pieces to this until it's filled up to page. Since I used Coco Daisy paper, I might as well use Coco Daisy stamps to decorate this. So I pulled out the stamps that came with the bookish, uh, bookish kit. And this is uh, called Real Life Bookish. And uh, I have some cool stamps on here. And then I also have this one that has some reading and some clocks and stuff like that on it. And I also have this property checklist. So um, the first thing I saw is this box here. And I thought that these books would look perfect there. So I'm going to stamp that there. So I'm going to use just black ink and stamp it in that spot. Try to center as best I can. Okay, so I got stamps there. And what else can I use? Okay, it says turn the page over here. I think I'm going to put this stamp, which is a book. I'm gonna put the book there. And stamp up here. All right, so I got that stamped. Um, I have, let's see, what does it say? Hello Spring. I got a, listening to reading i want to decorate this a little bit up here i think i'm going to do the stamps okay so i'll be back i'll decorate this as best i can and i'll come back okay this is the finished product i used my scoreboard to uh fold it uh, and I used washi tape up the side and then I put tape on top of the washi tape because it wasn't holding. So that's here. Uh, so it folds. It says happy mind, happy life. I put the sticker Monday, which is today. I stamped March, March, March on that side there. Then it flips open here and it says turn the page. March chapter 3 of thir 12. Right here, right now, I wrote down what my kids were doing. Then up here, I did my to-do list of real life, what I did today, March 13th. Just a girl who loves books. I stamped the stamp up here. And then it flips that way. And then it flips this way. And it says St. Patty's Day. I put write your own story. An empty tank will t take you exactly nowhere to take time to refuel. She believed she could, so she did. I left this as is because I really liked it and didn't want to cover it up. Then it opens up this way. And let me just flip it this way. It says, love yourself. Remember that Winnie the Pooh wore a crop top with no pants and ate his favorite food and loved himself so you can too. Then over here, um, it says, remember, I put that up there and it says, look for the joy, which is my word for the year, joy. 
be the best version of you. I put a so many books, so little time in the middle. I cut it out from another Project Life card and stuck it on top of there. Um, it's really starting to miss... I'm really starting to miss complaining about the heat, and I just stuck that on that side. Every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. I put that there with a quote next to it. This is the only thing I did not, not cover is more chapter. I just left that as is. I was going to cover it, but there's not really much room there. So I left it as is. So it all folds. And then I have my journaling. It says, use it up. Franken Page. Project Life. And I wrote, this week I watched Rach and Bella Crafts doing Franken pages. So I decided to try it with the Project Life cards. Did this with Coco Daisy Project Life cards. I used the March Kit Bookish. Look how it came out. Oh, love how it came out. So, uh, yeah, really like how this came out. And it's stuck in my book. And can you believe we are on the 20th day? I finished the 20 days in uh spin the wheel i've done a video for 20 days i'm exhausted but i did it and we're on march 13th so what does 20 days mean i finished the signature yes the whole signature this is signature one and that's 20 days in there look how fat and chunky that thing got so the only thing that's not done in this signature is the index. So here's the index. I put an index in here uh, so I could track all my days. I did get up to day 20. It continues all the way to here. And then in the back, I put 97 to 100 and you did it. That's the only thing that was it. And then in here, it says learn list in pocket. So in here, learn, I have a list of YouTube channels that I like to get to. So that is in there. And I only got to do learn once through the 20 days. So we'll see if I um, get to check off anything from that list. But this, this um, signature is actually done. So yeah, so that's the first signature. So we will be starting tomorrow where it says keep going. That's the second signature. So let's spin the wheel for tomorrow. Watercolor. Thank you for watching and we will see you in another video. Bye.